everybody, my name is Eric and welcome to the Jailcast. This is the show I do every week where I talk about what's opening up in theaters. So I want to talk to you about three movies that are opening up in theaters here on February 10th, 2017. The first film coming out is Fifty Shades Darker. When a wounded Christian Grey tries to entice a cautious Anna Steele back into his life, she demands a new arrangement before she will give him another chance. As the two begin to build trust and find stability, shadowy figures from Christian's past start to circle the couple, determined to destroy their hopes for a future together. And uh, I'm going to be going to see this film under a little bit of protest, so to speak, here. Uh, I want to kind of... Uh, my podcast here, I kind of want to get, be a little bit diverse and not just focus on films that I personally enjoy. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people out there who love the Fifty Shades films, uh, or at least the books for sure. The first film wasn't well received that much, but uh, there's a lot of people looking forward to this sequel. So I am going to be going to see this film, and I am going to do a review of it right here on the Jailcast. So you can check that out probably on Friday. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this film. I'll go ahead and tell you that up front. Uh, it's not something that I would normally be into or anything like that. So, uh, and I've not seen the first film. Uh, I've seen bits of it, but, uh, nothing to really form an opinion on it. So, I mean, I know what happens in the first film, so at least I'll kind of know that going into this one. Uh, so I'm going to give it a, 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 a chance and see what happens. And, uh, like I said, I'll do a review of it and you can check it out here on Friday. But, uh, I mean, obviously, a lot of people were excited about this one. The trailers for it looked a little bit better than the last film. I like the idea of uh, Christian's past coming into into this relationship here that he's trying to rebuild with on a steel. And I think that's going to create an interesting dynamic and could become pretty creepy from the sounds of it. Uh, and like I said, I don't know anything about the books or anything like that, so I don't know where this is going to go. Uh, I do know they're making a third film coming out next year, so obviously they're probably going to set it up in this film as well so i can't wait to see what's going to happen here and uh, we'll see how this review goes it could be kind of entertaining for you guys uh the second film opening up this weekend is the lego batman movie uh there are big changes brewing in gotham city but if batman voiced by will arnett wants to save the city from the joker voiced by zach galifianakis and his hostile takeover he may have to drop the lone vigilante thing try to work with others and maybe just maybe learn to lighten up Maybe his superhero sidekick Robin and loyal butler Alfred can show him a thing or two. Uh, now, I've been hearing nothing but great things about this film. This film is holding, I believe, a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes and is absolutely being praised critically. Um, everybody, for the most part, seemed to like the Lego movie, the first film. Uh, this is technically not a sequel. It is more of a spinoff slash sequel, I guess you could call it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much going to stand alone on its own here. Now, obviously, Batman was in the Lego movie back a few years ago, so they kind of, you know, you kind of got an idea what kind of what kind of Batman we're going to get in this movie here, and there's supposed to be Justice League members, and I hear there's a lot of cool nods to the old Batman shows and movies and everything from villains to characters, all that from top to bottom, and I hear it's another fast-paced film in the Lego movie uh, franchise here. The first film was pretty fast-paced from start to finish here. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see uh, what this film does, and I've heard it's pretty hilarious, so I can't wait to see it as a Batman fan and a comic book fan in general. I think this could be a lot of fun, and I'm going to be doing a review of this film as well, and it'll probably be up here on the Jailcast YouTube channel probably Saturday. Um, and the final film this weekend that I'm going to be checking out is John Wick Chapter 2, a retired super assassin. John Wick's plans to resume a quiet civilian life are cut short when an italian gangster named santino de antonio antonio uh, shows up on his doorstep with a gold marker compelling him to repay past favors ordered by winston kingpin of a secret assassin society the continental to respect the organization's ancient code john wick reluctantly accepts the assignment to travel to rome to take out de antonio's sister the ruthless capo atop the italian camorra crime syndicate um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this film as well. Another film that, for what I've seen so far, is getting great reviews so far. Uh, granted, the movie is still a few days away from release, so some of these uh, reviews here for the Lego Batman movie and John Wick 2 could drop once more reviews are released. But right now, they're up in the high 90s on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've seen John Wick uh, 1 uh, probably once or twice, and I absolutely love the film. And the, obviously, you know, headshots are the the lay of the land here. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really cool how Keanu Reeves is getting a career resurgence here in his uh, early 50s now, and uh, he hasn't done a whole lot of films before this in recent memory. Uh, so I'm glad to see him have some success here. And in this film, we get a little bit of a Matrix reunion with Lawrence Fishburne is going to be in this one as well. And uh, yeah, I expect a lot of great action. Uh, the story, you know, 
it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world, but this is an action film that we just kind of want to go and see a lot of cool gunfights and martial arts and whatever, you know, they want to throw at us here. And I did like the, uh, the fact that when they were filming the, this film in the last one, you know, Keanu Reeves actually went through gun training and, you know, doing obstacle courses, you know, and things like that. So I thought that was really cool to see. Um, and hopefully the dog will survive this time. It's a little spoiler alert there. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to this film here. And I'm like I said, I'm also going to be checking it out on Friday. And I'll probably be putting up a review for it on Saturday as well with the Lego Batman movie. So I hope you guys will go check those out. Well, that'll just about do it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like what you saw here, please comment and like this video. And you can also subscribe to the Jailcast on YouTube uh, by searching for Jailcast there. You can also find links in the description of this video for my Facebook and Twitter. Or you can go to facebook.com slash jailcast. Or you can find me on Twitter at Eric Jail. So until next time, thank you for watching. God bless.